What's happened over the past few months, there have been a few scams targeting uh, Gibraltar in particular and um, you know uh, some GAB clients. I can confirm again categorically we haven't been breached at all and the bank works with all the security agencies in Gibraltar, the regulator and uh, all uh, public agencies to make sure we get the message out there for people to protect their security systems. So GIB again hasn't been breached at all and what we're seeing is the scammers targeting clients whether it's GIB clients or other banks we've seen scams in other institutions as well locally um, it's the clients because they're the most vulnerable people around. Um, looking at some of the stories we've had over the last year or so, um, you say that it's not specific to Jib Bank, but we have certainly seen a lot more coming from Gibraltar International Bank and also the Royal Gibraltar Police. So why is it we're not hearing about this level of scams from other local banks? I cannot comment for other institutions. Um, basically, what we can say is um, we've done a statistic and analysis and we know from our research that scams, uh, the scale of scamming is uh, huge. I mean, you have to look at the statistics in the UK. It's increased threefold over the last year. In particular, it's probably because of uh, the pandemic. People are buying more online. So scammers are targeting more online shoppers and people with their online banking. Our security systems are perfectly fine. Uh, like I said, the bank has never been breached, the data is uh, secure. But what we do see is that we need to help and educate our clients to make sure that they keep their passwords safe. Uh, most of the scammers, what they're targeting clients for is to access your account by people being uh, lulled or duped into giving their passwords, etc. away. And this is mainly the profile of the scams that have been happening. You will see that now things have settled down. We've been working with the uh, security agencies in Gibraltar and we cooperate with them fully. And basically, uh, in the past year, it's GAB, you know, uh, you can hear GAB clients sometimes are being scammed. Other times it'll be other institutions. And it's just a, a rolling program that scammers have out there. And they just target uh, different areas of the public jurisdictions or whatever to see where they can probe and once they see that they can't probe, uh, they'll move on somewhere else. Now, let's look, take a look at uh, one of the headlines we had this year. One of them was um, Gibraltar International Bank says, don't take any action on uh, an SMS suggesting or purporting to be from them. Um, if there's no breach of clients' data at Gibraltar International Bank, how is it that these scammers have these clients' numbers? You know, um, the scammers, what they do is they target wherever they can get information from. And uh, SMS messages are not sent by the bank. They're sent by telephone companies. So they'll be targeting the telephone companies to see if they can get through uh, systems there. Uh, like I said, GIB, its data hasn't been breached at all. There have been cases, I think, locally where uh, some of these uh, messages have been going to non-GAB clients purporting to be for the bank. So obviously that cannot be from our database because we wouldn't have those client details at all. But I mean, we work with all the local agencies to make sure that all systems are secure and remain secure. I can assure the public that GAB has taken increased steps as part of its natural program and rolling program to invest in security systems, as we should, as all banks do. Uh, to keep up with all the different uh, mutations of scams that happen out there. And uh, this year, uh, viewers will know and GIB clients will know, we've recently upgraded our online platform uh, to include biometrics, etc. And there will be further developments going on as time goes on and as investment uh, continues to materialise. Christmas is coming, people are spending money a lot in a lot of different places, depending on what gifts they're buying, for example. So what would your advice be to avoid getting scammed this Christmas? Look, GIB systems remain secure. We've got a, a payments fraud monitoring team that check all client payments. They will actually call you back to make sure if you've made a payment to a new uh, supplier or whatever, uh, to make sure that, to confirm that you've put that new payment detail in the system. And the general advice, uh, and we're working with colleagues at the GBA and with the FSC, the regulator, to you know do an education program out there to remind people to be careful, not only with their banking details, but obviously shopping online. 
make sure you shop from retailers that you recognize their names uh, you know make sure that the websites have the little lock the security lock on them and things like that those should be telltale signs that uh, the, the shopping venue that you're going to is more secure and provides the right security when you enter your online details in terms of your payment details etc